case you haven't realized, I'm hunting for shirts. Football shirt hunting is back. Yes! Welcome back to another episode of Football Shirt Hunting, a series in which I hunt for the best, rarest, cheapest, and most obscure football shirts going to car boots, charity shops, and even wholesalers too. It is, what a series, what a series. In today's episode, we have one car boot sale trip, an entire day dedicated to charity shops, and also a trip to a wholesaler's where my budget is three and a half thousand pounds. So there's a lot to fit in. Sit back, kick back, put some clothes on. If you haven't, if you're not, if you're not wearing clothes watching this, then that's another topic we need to discuss. <laughs> Just as there's one person sat there in his bed, like it's so hot, Ellis. Like I'm not aroused by this. <laughs> Welcome back. Just before we get any further into this video, I am of course giving away a mystery football shirt. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tick that little bell notification button as well, and you can win a mystery football shirt. Good luck. Finally, just before we get any further into this video, if you want to buy any of the shirts that I get in this episode, all you have to do is check out Away Days Football Shirts in the description. It is the only place I sell football shirts now. I don't use Depop, I don't use eBay. That site linked at the top of the description is where you can buy shirts. I am aware I maybe didn't explain it too well in the last episode, so I'll quickly go through a few points. As I said initially, point one, it is linked at the top of the description, or you can search www.awaydaysfootballshirts.com. Either or. You can search on site for size, price range, league, jackets, sweatshirts. You can search anything you want on the site, and you can even use the search bar to search for specific clubs. Worldwide shipping is available. Shipping in the UK usually takes five to seven days. It depends on just how much stuff I've got going on with away days, but usually it will be shipped next day with Hermes, but maybe not Hermes after they've messed up a few orders. Finally, throughout the entire month of June, those eagle-eyed people will already know there is a 15% discount code running on every single item on the website. All you have to do is use the code Euro2020 when you get to check out and you'll save 15% on any order. So be sure to check it out in the description and get yourself a bargain and also allow me to live. Anyway, let's get on with the hunt, starting with the car boot sales. Enjoy. Some of you are probably sat there thinking, thinking, oh, Ellis, that's really exciting that you're back at car boots. Look at the weather. I got a six today. There is literally about three stalls here Oh my god. And it is raining. And I'm functioning on four hours sleep. Welcome to football shirt hunting, everyone. <laughs> oh, some chairs. Right, hello. I've listened to what you guys said in the last episode when I asked you if you still wanted to see the charity shop stuff. And the overwhelming response was, yes, Ellis, of course, you idiot. So before we go off to BKs, I'm going to spend the whole day today going to random locations, looking around charity shops and seeing what we can find. I don't know as to where I'm going to go. Also, you can tell it's the day after the England game. My voice is still gone. What a day. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive. I'm going to probably go to like four or five different locations. Don't know where I'm going to end up. Where I do end up, there's going to be loads of charity shops. We're going to try and find football shirts and as i said in the last episode any shirts i find in the charity shops will then be offered to give away to you guys because i'm already buying enough for myself as it is let's do this first stop is ely i mean of course as ely i live here it would have been stupid not to go I never found anything in ely though been and done like several days worth of charity shops here at this point never found anything so here's a little montage of how it goes Click. That'll, that'll do. God, yes, please. Give me, give me my flag bag. <laughs> Stinks of carling. So as you just see, we had our first sighting of an item, but eight pound for a man new polo. I mean, it's not worth it. It's just. Bit of a waste of money if I do that. At least we had a sighting of a shirt. I didn't think we'd see anything, to be honest. It's nice that we did see something. Um, no idea where I head next. It's either Cambridge direction or 
like back towards Norfolk direction. I'll decide and then I'll I'll see you there. We we need to find. I'm not stopping until I find at least one thing today. I could be here all week. You now join me in Kings Lynn. I don't think I've ever been here to look around charity shops, so it better be good. There, there better even be charity shops here. I presume there is. If there's not, then it's a bit awkward. So the good news is there's tons of charity shops in Kings Lynn. The bad news is none had football shirts. It's like 28 degrees. I haven't had a drink, haven't had anything to eat, and I haven't had any <laughs> used football shirts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Swatham next. Big up to anyone who lives in Swatham. Does anyone live in Swatham? Swatham. Swatham! Right, this one, I'm confident. It's a bit of an older place Swatham is, I think. You know, like, not, oh, cause Kings Lynn and Ely are so young and hip. But I'm hoping we can find a few good things here. I'm hoping we can find anything. I don't want our only sight of the day to be a man new polo top. So let's go do this, come on. So there we go, Swatham done. As you saw, we didn't find anything. I did stumble across them two like local team ones. There was a Swatham Town jacket and another local team jacket as well. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything. But that's how it goes with these charity shop things. Like, I always get people tweeting me saying, Ellis, I went around hunting charity shops like you and didn't find anything. Well, please bear in mind the old charity shop videos, I used to take a month to film them to find even like six or seven items. So today I've traveled to three different locations, 40 minutes apart to try and show you guys, oh, you still can find things. And it's just, it's very hard to do it. That's why we go to the warehouse in this series now as well. Eventually the aim is to go to thrift stores, charity shops and stuff abroad. So it'll be like football shirt hunting, Italy edition or Germany edition, which is the big aim for this series. But for now, like charity shops in England are very hard is what it is. And that's the truth. It just is. People who, you see some people tweeting saying they found about 20 things in a charity shop. They're liars. Like it just, it doesn't happen anymore. Anyway, all I bought today was a Subway. I'm going to eat that. Here is an amazing transition to me at BK's. Um, also a bit spoiler, I'm filming this after I've been to BK's and we find our best ever item, items as well. Just watch. Yes, so we are of course coming back to BK's here. My budget for today is between two and three and a half K. Um, the difference is today, Jodie's not here, she's ill. So I'm on my own, so wish me luck. So inside, I've got the whole place to myself today. Um, obviously, it'd be nice for, for Jodie to be here, but she, 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 as I said, she's not too well. So let's try and work our way through and let's, let's see what we can find. Here is the, I'll show you guys the first three shirts in the pile because why not? Okay, so straight away, it's like a really old Bill Bow shirt. That's gonna go straight in. Oh yes, the um, one of the most iconic sponsors in football shirt history. And then next up is, yeah, okay. So all three of them are, are gonna come with me and, um, Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, Stoke City. Every time I have the opportunity to come here, I come in and I'm like, oh, Ellis, don't rush. Don't force yourself to just get shirts. Then I realize I want all of them. So the no pile is shirts that I would also want as well. <laughs> it's very, very hard. So in terms of an item that you know, I didn't think we'd ever find here. Um, it is a, uh, it's a, a blue version of the Holland 88 away shirt. I'll be honest, I don't really know anything about this. So we'll talk about this more at the end because of course I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> well, oh my God, Jesus Christ. It's like, what am I, what do I? What do I, how do I react to that? What's that? It's made in West Germany. It's like from the era. It's made in West Germany. It is a size, I don't, we'll talk about, just get in, get in my box. Stay there, my lovely, and we'll see you in a bit. Ooh. Blue Holland 88. That's going straight in my basket. And then we followed it up with, with, with a classic. 
Finally, we found a Porto shirt. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's a nice one as well. Is it my size? It's a large, but I can um, I can I can squeeze squeeze. I can, I'll put on a few pounds. So for those of you wondering what BK's actually is, I know I've said it several times, but I'm aware there's also people who are sometimes new around here. It's essentially a wholesalers where people who sell retro clothes or buy retro clothes can come and you can hand pick the stock that you want to buy for cheaper than you'd buy it elsewhere. It's a minimum spend for your first time of £300, but then after it, you then have to spend a minimum of £1,000. There's so much stock here. There's loads of football stuff, which usually is kept alongside for me. You can't just come and hand pick football stuff specifically. They do sell football stuff, but if you were to come and hand pick, you'd maybe get one or two items that are football rather than being able to do everything football like that we do. But there is an opportunity to come through the whole warehouse. There's an NFL, there's NBA, there's just vintage clothing like East Saint Laurent, um, like Burberry and stuff like that. Adidas, retro Adidas, retro Nike. Everything you want is here. So if you are interested in doing that, check them out in the description. And a huge thanks again to them for allowing us to, to purchase shirts from here because it's, it's so much fun for the series. And my bank. So we have what I think is the final box of stuff. And now we need to filter through it and um, work our way down. Because usually what happens is I do loads, because I have a budget in mind, we do, I put loads in there that I would take and then we work it down to what I can afford. Because that's probably more than I can afford to spend. And then we'll, we'll whittle it down and then then take it home. But um, I'm excited to see what it all looks like on the floor. So the budget was between three and 3.5K. Um, I've spent 3,495. So actually five pound underneath budget. So if you guys want a teaser of what we've got so far, here's a, here's a cheeky little teaser. Another bit of a teaser, another bit of a teaser, another bit of a teaser. A little bit of a teaser, a little bit of a teaser, and I'll see you back in my room now. Hello again, we have a lot to discuss. I've listened to the feedback from you guys and you didn't want me to showcase every single item because we'll be here for like 50 years. So what I've done is I've set aside about 15 to 20 of the most cool or interesting or rare items and the rest of them you're going to see in a montage now. shirts are so cool and they'd be the most rare item I find in another football shirt hunting episode. It's just a case of, you know, just, what do you think we've got here? We've all, I've already shown you one of them. Like, it, it, ooh. First up is this Manchester United jacket, which on the surface of it, you're like, Ellis, why is that not being in that montage? Until you see on screen, it's got Jisung Park's number and name on it, which means... Is it player issue? Like, I can't imagine you would have been able to go into a shop and buy a jacket with Jisung Park 13 on it. So, that's really cool. That's really interesting. He was a really underrated, understated player in his time at United. Like, Ferguson loved him. And if Alex Ferguson loves you as a player, you're probably quite good at football. This next one's a great one for the summer months. <laughs> a padded 90s Chelsea Umbro coat. Have, have some of that. Look at that. I mean... Obviously, with Chelsea just winning the Champions League, a lot of people are then suddenly really interested in Chelsea stuff. It's just the way it works. Like, it works in every sport. In the NFL, the team that win the Super Bowl, they're then, their merchandise sells the most. It's just it's the way the sporting world works. And this Chelsea Umbro jacket, people are salivating over it, aren't they? Let's be honest. Those who watched our first trip to BKs will remember I got a really cool Arsenal manager's coat. Well, we've got an Arsenal amazing 90s jacket here. It's just, as you can see on screen, the design on it is really cool. Arsenal 90s stuff, like, I don't know whether it's because the team are great and, like, people are nostalgic over it as well. But that era of player, that era of clothes, like, it's why they're basically just a fashion brand now. Like, Arsenal release more kits than they win games at this point. Staying on the Arsenal theme, though, their 1992 home shirt. And, once again, as I said, the 90s Arsenal stuff, you can see on screen the design here. 
the centralized Adidas equipment, the centralized badge, it all works so well, like playing down like in a straight line, like it's such an amazingly cool shirt. And from one amazing Arsenal shirt to another, it is their 93 to 95 away shirt. And this Adidas template is iconic for many reasons. It just, you know, arguably the best usage of it, isn't it? Like, oh my God. Look, we've got some premium items here today, baby. Look at that. Got out of focus into it. You just unlocked me on Smash Brothers. There's a bit of a Premier League theme here so far. And continuing with it, we have the Wolves 1996 home shirt. And this is a shirt that is great. It's a classic. It's one of them ones that I did like a teaser for this video on Twitter. Like showing like a bit of a lot of the shirts and people. There's a lot of interest in that shirt already. And for good reason. It is one of Wolves' best shirts of all time. Speaking of showcasing one of the team's best shirts of all time, it is the Inter Milan 1997 home shirt in a size medium. It is amazing. I paid 50 quid for it. I'm, I'm keeping it. It's like, it was like destiny. Obviously I'm keeping it. It's lovely. In the last episode, I got a Marseille 91, 92 in long sleeves. So this time I it's, got one in short sleeve because you know, that's something that commonly happens. <laughs> I feel like sometimes people see the title of this series, like, Best Ever Finds, or, like, you won't believe what we found. Just watch, like, you won't believe, like, what is going on? There's still some there's rarer items to go. Also, just a moment of appreciation for the fact that we finally found a Porto shirt in this series. About time. I love a sweatshirt. I love a 90s sweatshirt. I love a 90s Adidas sweatshirt. And Crystal Palace fans, you're going to love this one because it's just it's just filth, isn't it? Let's be honest. With the TDK sponsor on the back. It's one of them items that you're just not going to see again. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to find another one of them. It is a really rare piece. Like People don't realise that obviously as amazing as like the 90s sweatshirts are, and I've got a load of them, they're obviously more rare than the shirts because shirts were bought more. Like The sweatshirts are much rarer. Staying on the sweatshirt hype, we've got a Korea sweatshirt with the Nike center logo with the Korea on the sleeve. I don't really know as to what the value on this is. I know there's a lot of love for like Korean stuff uh, because the collecting base and atmosphere in Asia is so massive. Um, atmosphere? <laughs> Go, yes, we love shirts. One of my favorite finds from this video so far is this Blackpool 94 home shirt. Like. It's very rare you're going to see shirts like this come up, especially for a club like Blackpool. It is a very valuable shirt, but it won't hold as much value as, say, the Arsenal ones. But it's actually a rarer item. It's just, you know, price ranges, they change per club. Next up, we have a shirt that is definitely in Napoli's top 10 of all time. It is their 91 to 92 home shirt. This shirt just screams the 90s. Everything about that shirt is just 90s. Next up, we have a really interesting thing. I paid £100 for a pair of shirts. Um, and this is the first one. It is a Portugal Euro 2004 shirt with Figo on the back, which is fine. And this one with the product codes does return the shirt. So I'm pretty sure it's legit. This one, I was the only one I checked the product codes on. I thought, well, if this one's real, the other one will be. Um, but this Figo shirt seems to be real. I'm going to confirm it with a few people before this video goes live. So please see an update now if it is real or not but then there was also one with Ronaldo on the back which to be honest as soon as I saw it the badge looked worse than the Figo one like the badge just looked more fake like the Figo one looks spot on there's a load of red flags with the Figo one in itself to be honest with the fact that it has the Euro 2004 final date and stuff underneath it like you don't really tend to see that but the badge looks all right on that one and if it is a fake it's a better fake than this one and this one returns no product codes or anything so Potentially, I've taken a £100 hit there for two fakes, but I'm hoping that the Figo is real and the Ronaldo is fake. We'll see. However, staying on a pair of shirts, which is actually going to get everyone intrigued, I didn't realise how rare or how valuable these shirts are. It is Korea's 95 and Korea's 98 away shirts. And look at them. Just look at them. Oh, oh. That was supposed to be the Halo theme song. Did that sound anything like it? What a pair of shirts that is. Both two incredibly rare shirts. Um, I don't know, it's, maybe someone can fill me in in the comments section as to why there's the rarity to them. But I spent a large amount of money on them and hopefully someone buys them. 
Now we go to one of the most iconic shirt sponsors of all time. It is, of course, the Man City 97-98 home shirt with that iconic brother sponsor. Whenever I think of this shirt, I think of Oasis. I think of like Liam Gallagher rocking it. Um, rocking it. No one should say. When you talk like me and sound like me, you shouldn't use the phrase rocking it. Four items to go. Three of these are really rare. One of them I've never seen before and can't find anything on Google about. So we'll do that one first. First up, we've got this really old feeling, really thin material Santos shirt. So thin that it feels like it could have been worn by a player. I honestly can't find anything about it online. Um, I, can't, I can't find anything about it with an Umbro manufacturer anyway. As you can see on the back, it's got a, a player number on there, number 16. Um, as you can see up close on the, on the clip as well, the Umbro logo is there with a G in it, which is obviously South American sizing. But if anyone at all in the comment section knows anything about that shirt, please let me know because I'm stumped. Staying on shirts that I'm pretty stumped by, we have this amazing Athletic Bilbao shirt. Look at this just, just revel in it for a minute. It's got the number two on the back as well. I did a tweet for this and the closest people could find was their 91 to 92 away shirt. But it doesn't look quite like it. And there's, I've never seen an image of one being sold online. So I don't actually know what I have here. If anyone collects Bill Bow stuff, if anyone knows anyone who might be a Bill Bow collector, please let me know because that is a very, very niche piece. And I have no idea what to even list it at or what it's worth, or whether I should keep it. There's a lot of variables there. Which brings us to our last two. The first of which is England's 1988 home shirt. I bought this one for my personal collection, spending 125 on it. I think that's a fair enough deal, considering I'm keeping it for myself. It just, I can't, I can't get this shirt and then part with it, let's be honest. Just, you guys are seeing it on screen. It is an incredible shirt. I mean, it's such a shame we've won nothing since 1966, don't get me wrong, but the era of shirts we had from like 80 onwards, 80 to let's say 2000 was incredible. And we never won anything. Just imagine how immortalized even more that shirt would be, our Italia 90 shirt. Just everyone we had would have been so much more iconic if we'd have bloody won something. Anyway, I gave you guys a sneak peek about this final item in the video. Staying in 1988 is the Holland 1988 away shirt. And this shirt, there is a lot of a story behind it. I'll tell you that right now. Before we get into the story about it, please see it on screen. Just look at the design. Look at the detailing in this. The geometric light blue works so well. This one was made in West Germany. It is definitely of the era of that. Let's talk about some interesting things about this shirt though. This shirt is widely accepted as Holland's away shirt from 1988. The only issue is there's no proof of any team from Holland ever wearing it. Just being surfaced so far anyway. So it's a bit of a unicorn shirt, which is a shirt that people don't actually really know if it's real or not. But for me, that adds to the mystique. It just iconic. What a shirt. I spent £250 on it. I have no idea what the market value on that shirt actually is. I'm not going to sell it. It's for my own collection, so it's not really relevant. I think for £250, I probably paid about a fair price. I don't know. If someone could let me know in the comments, please do. Yes, so that concludes this month's football shirt hunting episode. What did you make of the shirts I got in this video? Are we ever going to be able to top this? Like the Bilbao one, the Holland 88 away shirt. The England 88, it's just, I could go on. I could, the Korean shirts, like, there's so much detail I could go into about this. This has been the best month I've ever had, like, without doubt. Once again, a huge thanks to BK's Vintage for letting me go and handpick football stuff there. Check them out in the comments section below. As I've said before, you can't go there and handpick specifically football stuff, but if you want to handpick NFL, NBA, Retro Cloven as well, they will throw in one or two football items for you as well. So check them out in the description. I highly recommend it to anyone who resells like vintage or retro clothes. So check them out. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It will also put you in with a chance of winning a mystery football shirt. I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe for more football shirt content and more away days content too. Ciao, ciao. Bye.